one, mark. If we come back to the idea that people have a hard time understanding 2D plans and putting that in their head as 3D, it's hard for customers too. So if we want to sell some uh, premium suites for a sports team, for example, we can't just show a picture and say, this is the layout of the space you're gonna be in. But if you show them an immersive environment where they can walk around that space, it becomes a lot more effective of a tool to sell that. And when you're in VR, that's pretty much solved. But to take that next step and simulate some other pieces to it, can we start to change materials? Can we let the owners actually be part of that design as opposed to just saying yes or no to different things that the design teams bring to them? That's been where the real power is. Take, for example, the apartments the environment we build. We can build that fully immersive environment. We can build an environment for mobile phones, and we can also render video out of that same environment. It's multi-user, it's networked. We can have um, really as many people in the environment as we want. The power in Unity is not just in the visualization. That's a great component of it. But it's the, our ability to create these different interaction modes and scenarios that we can start to do. And when we do these projects, we are catching things. It's hard to know would we have not caught it if we didn't build it in this environment. As so we talk to the customers and we say, was this something that was beneficial for you? Do you feel more comfortable with this project now after doing this experience? And it's always yes.